Got a long row of calf hutches. And today I'm going to show you how we go about feeding them. We can do better. And I'm going to make it happen. All right, so this is our bottle washer, which actually also doubles as the tank and bottle holder that we use for filling bottles. Just gotta take all these hoses off and set it up for milk separation. So that's the button I press to start separating milk. So the milk comes from the robot through the wall here, in that line, all the way over, down to our twin filters. There's two sets of filters so that when the wash starts, it can switch over to the other filter because the rows are always milking. And then for the twin filters, it goes down, and then it either goes like right now when we're separating milk down the drain or into the whole tank, or it goes this way, up, back up, here, oh. the play cooler, cools down the milk a little more. Then into the tank. The lights turned off and means done. Milk tank is full of milk. Back to the float. I gotta flip this switch here. It turns that pump on. Pump some milk here through this line. I just gotta turn this switch and then uh, I can start filling bottles. Alright, I got all the bottles filled, so now I gotta go and put the nipples on top. So I gotta grab this pail. Now, you can see, they've got a number on them, that's because each nipple is for an individual calf. They always get the same nipple back again. And that's because, as they get older, and they start using the same nipple over and over again, it starts to wear down. So you can kind of see, this one here has the opening worn out so that it stays open. Whereas the nice new nipple here is more closed. If I always give them their own teeth back again, it ensures that when they're young and more sensitive to stomach problems, that that's when they get the teeth that are brand new that they have to suck really hard on. And then they get those digestive enzymes going to help them digest the milk better. So some of these numbers are pretty worn out. So I'll go grab the oil based Sharpie and rewrite some of the numbers.
Gotta practice goofing off with my boys. Got a tank of water so I can get a cast some water. And a little bucket full of cast or pellets for the cows. Just top this tank up. Enough racks for 36 bottles. So the last two bottles, but to just put on the front of the four wheeler. Tank's just about full, right to here. So I'm going to turn that off and. Okay, now we're all loaded up and ready to feed some calves. So the cats that still need cast starter, I open the door up so I remember to come back for them and top it up. It's completely empty. This one as well. So when our cats get older, we move into these group hutches. I kind of like it better because then they can socialize a little bit. We got some of our group hutches here on uh, pasture. I'll show you why in a minute. So all these big group punches also get water. Younger ones don't yet because they don't really drink it if you give it to them. These older ones, they eat more grains so then they also get thirstier. here. There they are on their fresh green grass. Fill this bucket up right up to the top. There you go, nice and full. There's a calf that got out in our last video. This bugger right here. Much nicer now, they've been getting milk from us. Realizes that we're not all bad. Yeah, so I got them on pasture, and then I move them twice a day onto a fresh patch of grass, which is nice, they can eat some grass. 
get a bit of forage before we wean them off and bring them over to the heifer barn. And then uh, it's also nice because it saves us on bedding. But the real reason I started doing it is uh, I was inspired by a guy named Joel Salatin who's got chicken tractors. And uh, basically by putting the animals on grass and on pasture, they they get the impact on the environment that they were evolved to have and it actually helps improve the the organic matter in the soil. As you can tell, all the calves have done their bottles. So now it's a matter of collecting all the bottles and feeding the calves over for the calves that needed it. And then uh, bring them all back to the bottle washer. Cats with the nipple right off the bottle. Spread out the worst of the, of the dirt. Then it's just a matter of uh, turning it on, press the start. Now clean all the bottles for me. And double check it's working properly. Starting to fill up the water. First rinse is just a, the first wash cycle is just a rinse. And then it's got a, an acid and detergent where it sucks up from barrels that we got over on the other side of the tank. And then, uh, yeah, there's little spray nozzles in there. And it sprays all the water up into the bottles and cleans it. Does a nice job. Okay, so I'm done feeding cows now. All you gotta do now is put the four-wheeler back. 